Good morning, everybody. We are headed off to Arlington, Mass. today. We got a referral from a larger company down here called Wayne's Drains and also a smaller company. They weren't able to get somebody opened up and they suggested that they have to open up their their wall or ceiling in the unit below in order to get take care of this drum trap. So wish us luck and we hope to see you at the end of the video. residential home. We got a bathtub and a bath sink backing up. We turn the bath and sink on. Give it a couple of seconds. And you're gonna see it's backing up through the bathtub. indicates that it could be on a drum trap. Um, we also looked under the bathroom sink and it's got a P-trap under there. Which could throw some people off thinking that there might not be a drum trap. But we looked downstairs in the base basement. We're up on the second floor now. Um, we looked in the basement and there is a copper drum trap. So more likely than not, hopefully there's a copper copper drum trap in the second floor. We're going to take things apart and uh, use the air gun. It's basically the last step before you open up the ceiling down on the first floor to get to the drum trap to access it. A little more difficult when you're not using a 360 camera. Okay. I know I'm good but it's a pointing at the drain. Well, it's pointing at what you're doing right now. <laughs> so no, it's not pointing at the drain, it's pointing at the overall. With that stopper and that bolt will fall through. Flow out. You're gonna have to get more rags and uh, hold this pop up down and hold it. Yep. So in the bathroom sink, what you want to do is shut this off. Is there even an overflow in the sink? Nope. There isn't even an overflow. So you gotta hold that pop up down. Take a wet rag, block up your overflow. Why does the rag have to be wet? It just holds a better seal. Okay. All right, grab the air gun.
Yep. Yeah. Take a screwdriver, hold the oil flow. Shelly's holding the stopper in the sink. And you're done it. Alright, run that. And hopefully we'll uh Got the bath sink drain running. Use this, see if it keeps up with it. Actually, the most important thing is we're going to turn the shower on. Make sure it keeps up with the shower. Bathroom sink's running. That's not backing up in the shower. So, so the tub vents properly. Oh boy, I should have used a regular egg. You got it? Mm, got it. Okay. Alright, the true test of a shower is if it drains fully while you're using the shower. That one for a few minutes. See if it keeps up. Looks like the shower is keeping up, but what I want to do is shut the shower off and have uh, take a walk downstairs and see if there's any leaking going on in the forest floor bathroom. We'll be back in a second. Alrighty, Shelly took a walk downstairs to make sure there's no water coming through the ceiling. Worked out perfect. Back plate in. I'm getting rained on. Fill up the tub a little bit, get a good gush of water going through there. Turn the shower back on and see if it keeps up. A good swirl going there. See if it catches up. Yeah. 
second floor um, we have a hold harmless sign we can't see the condition of the pipe you know behind the walls or in the floor so it's a good idea to just have the hold harmless signed all right that's it for that one see you guys in the next one alrighty everybody that does it for that one so they had suggested that we end up opening the ceiling downstairs to try to get at that drum trap we didn't have to so that saved them a little bit there, a little bit of a headache, less worry. Also down in the comment section, let us know if you're, if you enjoy the new format. We're trying to get rid of the 360 video cameras, the GoPros. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it and you don't mind this new format. Let us know in the comment section. Thanks.